Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. My name is Ashley and I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different than what I would normally do here on my channel. I'm actually not gonna be cleaning in today's video. Instead, I decided to give you guys a little review on my new cookware set that I recently purchased. It was mid-January when we purchased these, so I've had them for a couple of months already and I do cook on a regular basis pretty much every single day, so I just felt like it was the perfect time to give you guys my true thoughts and my experience in cooking with this set. This is actually the beautiful brand by Drew Barrymore and it's sold at Walmart. I'm gonna give you guys a close up on the pots and pans and then we'll chat some more about it. All right, so what we have here is the five quart Dutch oven. These are the cookware protectors. It comes with four of those. This would be the two quart saucepan, 10 inch fry pan eight inch fry pan, and then this is the three quart saute pan. This cookware set actually comes in multiple colors and my absolute favorite color was the white set. I just think they are so gorgeous and just classic looking, but I'll tell you why I ended up going with the black set. I actually thought about it for a good week before I made this purchase. My heart really wanted the white set, but every time I thought about it, I just imagined them turning that ugly, burnt, rusty orange color. And of course my mind goes to the most dramatic, ugly, orange, discolored white cookware set that you could possibly think of. I just did not want to have to experience that. I ended up going with the black set, which I am still very happy with. I'm just gonna jump right in and tell you, you know, my favorite things about the cookware set. Number one, we got them on sale and they were like $109, but even when they're not on sale, they're like 129 or 139, something in that range. I noticed that when cooking with them the handles actually do not get hot with the exception of the Dutch oven of course because the handles aren't as long so it would make sense. I will say that they truly are non-stick. I made my husband a breakfast sandwich this morning and so I was cooking a fried egg on them. Of course I did use some butter um, but I'm actually gonna do another egg test for you guys in a bit and I'm not gonna use any sort of butter or oil or anything like that just so you can see how truly non-stick these pots and pans are. I swear when I cook with them, I feel like my food just comes out better. My food looks beautiful when I'm sauteing vegetables in here. I just feel like a chef for whatever reason. My food definitely cooks evenly and I'm just super happy with them overall. The only thing which this actually almost kept me from purchasing this set, but um, it only comes with this pot, which I thought was a little strange and it's not a big deal but we actually do use this super often in my household i use it to make you know chicken broth when i'm gonna make rice pilaf my girls and my husband use this almost on a daily basis because they cook their top ramen in here my youngest loves mac and cheese so it's just super handy for us in my household and i i mean i love this little guy whatever I'm, i still keep my old set i actually like to have two sets of pots and pans there's other things that you want to purchase you can actually go ahead and make that purchase and just add to the set it does say that you can pop them in the dishwasher but it, the preferred method to washing them is by hand for me when i wash them i actually use the non-abrasive side of my sponge so just to give you an idea I always wash these with the yellow side and because they are non-stick I mean you really don't have to scrub these guys you could just use the yellow side of your sponge and the food comes right off there were a few times where food got left on the pots and pans overnight and the next day when I came home from work and finally cleaned up the kitchen I did have to put a little bit more elbow grease and cleaning them up but I still use the yellow side of the sponge and the food you know ended up coming off so it wasn't that big of a deal I did also read in the manual and the pots and pans are hot not to throw cold water on them and this is something I never really thought about when you're cooking a lot of times a lot of us try to cook and clean at the same time this way you're not overwhelmed in the end when I'm done using like a pan or whatever I would 
take it off the stove and I would throw some cold water in there. This way I can hurry up and wash it. So it did say not to do that. Now I do let it cool off naturally. I'm gonna go ahead and do the egg test for you guys. I'm just gonna scramble up an egg and not use any sort of oil or butter or anything like that, just so that you guys can get a true idea of just how nonstick these pans really are. you guys so there you have it i went ahead and did the egg test i also gave you my personal thoughts and feelings on the cookware set i hope that you guys enjoyed the video i also hope that you found it to be helpful if you did please give my video a thumbs up i would really appreciate it also leave me a comment let me know will you be going out and making your own purchase of this cookware set if so also let me know what color will you be purchasing because i have to admit if you're gonna get the white i'm gonna be so jealous and i secretly hope that they rest on you. No, I'm just kidding. I don't mean that. But I hope that everyone has a great day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!